Hey, Denny Van here, Heartfelt Awakening Radio. Welcome, welcome. I am your host, and today we have a very interesting topic. We are talking about reality transurfing and what is this plate. And it's spelled a couple different ways. In the book Reality Transurfing, it's spelled P L A I T. And in Reality Maker, it's spelled a couple of different ways. And I wanted to talk about what it is in the book Reality Transurfing and how to activate it and what else it's related to. So first of all, the plate and in dictionary.com, it gives a couple different pronunciations. It's kind of like tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Well, it's either plate or plot. Both are correct. And some people like to say plot, some people like to say plate, but both are correct. And basically what it means is like a braided ponytail. That's all it means. So if you look up the word P-L-A-I-T, you'll see that it's a ponytail. And I've been talking with a lot of people who have been using the reality transurfing technique and using the plate to uh, send off an image to the subconscious so that that becomes a reality. So it is a technique that you employ in your own practice. And one of the things that um, I've, I've found in my research is that in the Bible, in particular Ecclesiastes 4.12, there's a scripture in the Bible where it talks about a cord of three strands and they call it God's knot. And they use this a lot in wedding ceremonies where two people are coming together, each one representing a strand and the third is the unseen or the presence of God within the marriage. So that's God's not, and it's another example of how this is used. And then, interestingly enough, in Kabbalah, and I left some pictures of this so you can see what it looks like. So go ahead and check out the pictures on our homepage for our podcast. Definitely take a look at the pictures because this is a part of you that is unseen. So we're accessing a part of you that is unseen. So in reality, transurfing, it talks about in the center of the back, probably between the shoulder blades, there's a cord that comes out and it looks like um, a braid or a ponytail coming off the back of the neck and some confusion about whether or not they need to have something there or what have you. This space is already there. What you're trying to do with Reality Transurfing is activate it. The best way to activate it is just to become aware of it and your awareness sends energy to it. So if you sit and relax and bring your awareness in your attention, kind of like between the shoulder blades in the back, right around where thoracic one and cervical seven, C7 and T1 come together, right in that area. It doesn't have to be in that exact spot. People are gonna feel the sensation anywhere between like the nape of the neck and the middle of the shoulder blades. And when I personally connected with this area. It was during a time where I was learning how to bend a spoon and I was feeling it and trying to use my own strength, right, to bend the spoon because it's not the person who bends the spoon because this spoon was sterling silver, it was solid, it was not bending. And so I sat with it and I just felt it and I could suddenly start to feel like a vibration in my fingertips. And then I felt like this opening up in the plate area or the back between the shoulder blades, between the shoulder blades and the neck area. I felt this opening up and it was, it was a natural opening feeling. And all of a sudden I felt bigger than my physicalness. I couldn't tell where my physical body ended and the spiritual body began kind of thing. And all of a sudden I had the thought, 
just bend the spoon. And whoop, there went the spoon. And I kid you not, I knew it wasn't my human body doing it. I felt it was the larger part of me bending the spoon. So this is where we begin to connect with it and activate the plate. That is already you. And in Kabbalah, this area is called Da'ath. Da'ath. And it's also basically the gateway to all knowledge. So when you connect and bring your awareness and activate this area, you are connecting to all knowledge. And the way to communicate with all knowledge is through visualization and emotion. So you tell the plate what it is you want through visualization. So you create a picture and through feeling. And what some people have a tendency to do is create a picture of what they want, but they don't include themselves in the picture. So if you've been playing with the plate and trying to activate it, and you're not getting any results with it, or maybe you're not a visual person, you can also incorporate your other senses. Not only what does it look like, but what does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? What does it taste like? Incorporate all of your senses into the image that you're forming on your plate. And then that plate is projected forward into your experience. And then your higher self will bring it to you. Your plate is, taking, is placing your order. When you have the visual of your plate, you've placed your order. Now you send it out and the universe is going to meet you halfway. So when you're able to incorporate the plate, this technique, into your manifestation, this is when you place your order. You have faith. You know it's there. You know it's in the realm of all possibility and the space of variations. It's there. Now your higher being is directing you to that sector so that it can become realized and manifested. So the reality transurfing, the... Um, concept of the plate and the technique of using the plate is not new. It's in the Bible and Ecclesiastes, which is it's in the Old Testament, it's in the New Testament, it talks about the three strands. In other words, it's not just what we can see, hear, tell, taste, use our five senses to detect, but it's also the unseen part of us that is also intertwined within this braid or the plate that we connect to. And in Kabbalah, this is the gateway to knowledge, to all that is, to your higher self, to, uh, to the unconscious. And this is an activation of this area within your body and within your own physical and unseen connection to all that is. And so to clear up any confusion... I've seen people say, don't pronounce it plate, it's wrong, or don't pronounce it plat, it's wrong. Well, honey, they're both right. And it's an area on the body that is you. It's already you. And when you learn how to activate this part of you that is already you, this creates almost an instant manifestation where you are completely connected to the world of the unseen, the unsensory world, because we are so connected to the sensory world, the plot activates the world of the unseen. Because we are dualistic, we are the mirror, and the unseen part of us, the way to get into it, is behind the eyes. Isn't that interesting? That it's behind our physical eyes, that we can't see it, but we can definitely feel it. You can feel its activation. Some people feel it as a warm, tingling sensation. Some people can feel it as an energy movement kind of sensation. Some people don't feel it at all. But they imagine, they use their imagination, and they like to use the visual of that energy cord coming off and then off the middle of their back, where you can see it in the um, one image that we have for you. So you can take a look at it. Look at these images and see which one resonates with you.
you can do the three chord and that there's an invisible chord that is binding the mind and the body with the unseen and you are now bound to spirit through this area of your body, the plate. And in Kabbalah, it's clearly shown in the back, whereas like the chakra centers or the energy centers are all lined up in the front of the body. In Kabbalah, in the image that we have for you, it is clearly shown in the back, in, behind us. It's behind our physical eyes. And in that image where it shows like a ponytail coming off the back of the neck. All of these images are correct. None of them are correct, but it, it's the unseen part of you. And this gives you a way to use your imagination because imagination also connects you with the plat or the plate, either one. This is the key to your imagination and the entryway, the gateway to the unseen world. So with that said, reality transurfing and the plate or the plat, however you want to call it. And what is it? It is you. It is a powerful part of you. When you access this part of you, you can shift to such a wonderful place to manifest in such a wonderful place and to see your world from such a different perspective. This is a wonderful way to awaken to the larger part of you because this plate is direct access to the larger unseen part of you. And do I need it? Well, no, you don't need it. You can continue going on without activating this part of you you absolutely don't need to activate if it's not activated. But if you want to connect to the genie part of you, because you know you are the genie and the bottle, and the genie to connect to it is right in through the plat or da'ath, that center part in the back, the gateway to all knowledge. And, you know, why is it so hard to pronounce? Really, it's just a word. It's just a word for a magical part of you. It's only a word, but to activate it, it's more than a word. It's a state of being. It's setting yourself up to draw to you the things you want instead of chasing them and then being just out of reach of you. Do you feel the difference? Can you feel the difference in your body? If you've been chasing your dreams, stop it. Now it's time to activate the plat. Tell the plat what you want. Create an image of what that looks like after having already having what you want. What does that look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it sound like? Create that image and then bring your attention, just your focus and attention and your awareness. Because remember, where awareness goes, energy flows. So if your awareness is in that area of you, the energy is going to flow to that area and you're going to know it. You're going to feel it. You might feel a warm sensation. You might feel a tingling sensation. You might feel nothing. But I want to keep this conversation going. We are developing some techniques to help you connect with this area of your whole self, not just the physical body, but the unseen part of you. And when you connect with your whole self, this is when the magic happens. This is when you discover you are the genie and the bottle. You are a human and the being. You are both. You are complete wholeness. And to connect to that, activate your plates. All right, so with that said, thank you for being on this journey with me. Do be sure to check out our Facebook social learning group. We are Heartfelt Awakening Village. Come on over to the village where we have lots of resources. We have lives every week, and we are coming up with a three-day virtual retreat that is donation-based and cannot be missed. So be sure to check those out. And as always, shoot me off an email if you have any questions at denny at heartfeltawakening.com. And thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Have a day full of blessings.